And here's our third set of examples of how to work with exponents in algebra. They're going to become a little bit more difficult as we move on. So here we're looking at these and go, oh, why? What do I do with these? Well, the thing that I do is this. If I look at my first example, I look at negative exponents. Whenever they're negative exponents, I would like to move them to the numerator, denominator, and turn them into positive exponents. That makes things simpler. And whenever I see a zero exponent, just make that into a one. So right away, I'm going to leave everything where it is except for where I have negative exponents and where I have a zero exponent. So this becomes a squared c cubed divided by a to the fourth. And that's it. Now, we have c to the 0 power, so that becomes a 1. I have a b to the minus 2 power, which moves to the numerator, becomes b to the positive 2 power. I have a b to the minus 1 power, moves down, becomes b to the positive 1 power. So that's how I start off by simplifying things. Now, I only have positive exponents, and the 0 exponent is gone. The next thing I'm going to do is use the quotient rule. So this is equal to a to the 2 minus 4 power. This is b to the 2 minus 1 power, and this is c cubed. I don't have to worry about the 1. Notice what I did. I subtracted the exponent of the numbers in the denominator. So this is 4 in the denominator, so I subtract 4. Here's a 1 in the denominator, subtract 1. And so this becomes a to the minus 2 power, b to the first power, c cubed. And finally, a to the minus 2 power, since it's a negative exponent, I'm going to move that into the denominator. That's b c cubed over a squared. And that's a simplified form of what I started with. All right, so again, there's different ways of doing this. You don't have to follow that technique, but it just makes things a little bit simpler. Looking at our next example, uh, right away I see z squared divided by z squared. And I can say, all right, that's simply equal to 1, so I can just eliminate that. I still have a negative exponent here and a negative exponent there, so I'm going to move those. So this can be written as um, y cubed divided by x to the fourth power, and then I can move this one down, so this becomes times x to the positive four power, move this one up, so this becomes y to the positive one power. So I don't have to do that, but that's one way. By simply moving this one up to make it positive, move this one down to make it negative, I'm sorry, to make it positive, this is equal to one, and now I can simply simplify that. This is y to the fourth power divided by x to the eighth power by simply adding the exponents together. All right, and I'm going to do that one just a little bit different to show you that you don't have to do it like this. You can do it in a different way as well. So first of all, I have 36 divided by 12, that's equal to 3. Then I have s to the minus 2 power, and I divide it by s to the first power, so I subtract 1 from there. Then I have t to the 1 power minus a minus 5 power. So here I'm simply using the quotient rule. If it's in the denominator, I subtract exponents. So I subtract the 1 and I subtract the negative 5. And then simplifying this, I get 3s to the minus 3 power times t to the positive 6 power. And since this is a negative exponent, I move it down and this becomes 3t to the 6th divided by s to the third power. So there's different approaches that you can follow to solve and simplify these equations or these expressions. Okay, on the next one here, uh, don't be fooled by the 4x minus 5 in parentheses. You can think of that as a. So a to the minus 3 power divided by a to the minus 6 power. So using that very same principle, I can move this to the numerator, that to the denominator. So this becomes 4x minus 5 to the positive 6 power, and that becomes 4x minus 5 to the positive 3 power. Simply by moving the top to the denominator, the denominator to the top, the exponents now become positive, and then I use the quotient rule, so this becomes 4x minus 5 to the 6 minus 3 power, or 4x minus 5 to the 3rd power, and that's a simplified form of that. And finally, looking at our last problem, right away you should catch that the numerator has a 0 exponent. So this whole exponent numerator simply becomes 1, so this can be written as 1 over 6x y to the minus 1, z to the minus 2. That was easy. Now, moving the y and the z to the numerator to turn those exponents into positive exponents, this becomes y and z squared in the numerator divided by 6x in the denominator, and we are done there. That's how you simplify that example. All right, and we'll show you some more um, hmm, challenging ones in the next few videos.